Good afternoon, sisters and brothers, and a big thank you for giving us Water Aid, giving Water Aid the opportunity to speak today at this key event. We all know that MDGs is about people, and it's about people in poverty. We know that sanitation is critical. Having basic sanitation, like toilet, easy access to toilet is critical to development, and most importantly, to the dignity of the people. So let me share with you the stories of two ladies for all of us to remind ourselves that we might be in that situation and feel what it means. The first lady is Maimunatu. She is from Savronzongo and she in the northern Ma uh, Ghana. She is 70 years old. And she told me two months ago when I visited her, her community, she said, Mariam, I have to reduce the amount of food I eat and what I, and what I drink because I don't have access to toilet. So just thinking at my age, the most important thing is dignity, is respect. And because I don't have access to toilet, and just thinking about having to go through all my neighborhood to access to it in the bush was just something that really affecting me. So today, having that access, which is, I think, part of the positive stories we have to tell, having access to toilet in my household, you can't imagine how it changed my life. It's just about getting me being respected in my community. And what can I expect more at my age? The second story is about Inna. And Inna is a pastoralist from, the, from Niger, northern Niger. And Inna is 26 years old, and she has twins. I found Inna one month ago in nowhere in Niger. And she moved from her place where, she, where they settle to that just to follow the grass, avail, where the grass is and the water. And when I ask Ina, how do you, where do you go to toilet? Because the, the, her family has a very basic shelter there. She just told me, the bush is my toilet, Mariam. And it's in that area it's about 50 degree heat. It's about deep darkness. So she said, in the night, I just have to imagine where I, have to, where I put my feet because I don't know, I don't see. And in the day, I have to be under the sun. So the story of Ina is not just Ina because she's 26 and I'm sure a lot of people here are at that age. So just imagine that you are in Ina's shoulders and uh, 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 she feeds how it feels for you. But the most important thing I think here is about the twin of Ina. Are we ready to, to change the life of Ina and, and her twins by getting access to sanitation? 4,000 children die a day due to Jara because it's just lack of access to sanitation. We know that 2.6 billion of people have no access to sanitation. So action is now, as Jacob said, as we all said, action is now, it's not tomorrow. Change has to happen now. So are we ready to make that change? To hold the government and decision makers accountable of their commitment I think that's where we are, what's why we are here, and we have to keep being committed. We have to work together, have better organize, uh, coordination, have better commitment, and be together to ensure that the world leaders meet their commitment. The action is now, not tomorrow. So are you ready to take it? We at WaterAid, we, we think we have to take it now. And I'm sure all of you gathered here 
are ready to do that. Are you ready? Are you ready? So sanitation has to improve. Poor people have to have access to toilet to restore their dignity because that's also the, that's their, their right. So let's all be ready to make that change for the MDGs in particular for access to basic sanitation, for access to toilet. Thank you.